Hey Falcons, I'm Chance Kirkwood. And I'm Griffin Nicholas. Welcome to the first HF2 newscast of the school year. Today we have some interesting events to cover about the new school year and what's to come. Stay tuned. Hey Falcons, I'm Eleni Mansell. For us seniors, we have had a lot of exciting events planned already, like the handprint wall, senior sunrise, and as you may know, we just had college week. During college week, we had lots of events planned, like contests, college dress-up days, and lunch activities to promote applying to college and to get us thinking about our future. Seniors who applied to colleges also wrote their name on posters during lunch to the colleges they applied to. We have a lot in store for senior year, so let's make it the best. I'm Eleni Mansell, reporting. Hey Falcons, Cadence here, and to get into the spirit of Halloween, Harney Ford to see their teacher, Miss Carolyn, along with our very own students, on October 26th, put on a haunted house. This year's theme was the Twilight Zone, and it was frightening. I'm here now with Miss Carolyn to get more information on the house. How many years have you been putting on the hot house? This is my fourth year doing it, but it happened for two years uh, before I came to Ford. That's a really long time. Uh, what made you decide to put on the hot house? Um, one, the students convinced me, and I'm kind of a sucker. And the art teacher, Mrs. May, and I decided it was a really good opportunity to raise money for Ford families. That's awesome. Um, what made you choose the theme of the Twilight Zone? This year it was Miss May's idea. She suggested it. That's awesome. Uh, how do you choose who would be a good fit to participate? Um, we ask anybody who's in the International Thespian Society or the National Art Honor Society to participate, and then stagecraft and theater students. Awesome. Uh, how much work do the actors put into the hot house? Um, a lot. It's probably the Theater 3 class worked for several weeks to organize and put it together and find reference images. And then the actors spend about a day figuring out their scenes. And then it takes about 10 hours to put the whole thing together and two hours to tear it down. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks. That's all from me today, Falcons. Here at Ford, we have an incredible theater program. And theater teacher, Miss Carolyn, not only runs two school plays a year, but teaches theater one, theater two, and theater three, as well as two stagecraft classes. Each year, the Ford Theater Department puts on two shows per year. The fall play and the spring musical. And anyone and everyone is welcome to try out for a part in the theater play or the spring musical, regardless or not whether you're in a theater class or have any acting experience. Speaking of a fall play, Henry Ford's Clue airs this weekend through Saturday. To get some more information about Clue, we have with us a few cast members. Thank you for being here, Carson. How many years have you been participating in theater? This year will be my fourth year. What's your character and what's its story? My character is Mr. Green and he is a sniveling, closed off, clumsy man. Do you have a favorite play you've participated in, in the last four years? I would say my favorite would be Beauty and the Beast from my sophomore year. That's good. What's been your favorite scene to memorize? Um, my favorite scene is the last scene where uh, secrets are revealed in Clue, but I won't be giving those away. Thank you again. Thanks for doing the interview. Of course. Thank you for taking the time, Glenn. Yeah, no problem. This is your only second play, right? Yeah, this is my second play, and I've been in a musical, which was Adam's Family. What is it like getting a main role as only a sophomore? It's definitely a confidence booster. Like, I can look somebody in the eye and say, hey, I'm actually really good at this. I can only imagine it's a lot of pressure. And you play Professor Prum, right? Yeah, he's a, uh, he's a different kind of character, kind of a slouch and takes a lot of liberties, especially with women. What's your favorite part about playing this character? Uh, I would say it isn't much like a line, it's more like the posture, just how like relaxed I get to be all the time, just kind of leaning back all the time, and yeah. I get to kind of exert some swagger, if you know what I'm saying. I appreciate your time, thank you for being here. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you for taking the time to be here with us, Ella. How many years have you been participating in theater? Uh, four years. What's your favorite play you've been in? Uh, I'd like to say High School Musical. What's your favorite scene you've had to memorize? My favorite scene is probably, I guess, where we're kind of running back and forth throughout every room in Clue. Thank you for taking the time to be here with us. Yeah. Thank you for being here, Chris. Of course. How many years have you been participating in the school's theater? Um, I started my sophomore year. That's cool. Who's your character and what's his story? My character is Colonel Mustard and he's a very stupid military man. That's awesome. 
Do you uh, have a favorite play or musical you've been in? It would probably be um, this competitive play I did called Dog Sees God. Nice. What's been your favorite scene to memorize? Um, probably where me and this other character get locked inside of a room. Nice, nice. Thank you for uh, your time and I appreciate you doing this interview. Of course. Don't forget, Clue airs tonight at 7. And again on Saturday at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tickets can be bought in advance at showticksforyou.com. Or buy them at the door. Tickets are $10 for adults and 8 for students. Here at Ford, we have a Veterans Day celebration. The veterans are given breakfast and after the students line the halls for the parade. Also, some of Ms. Trella's speech students give their veterans appreciation speeches at the breakfast. Here with me, I have Ms. Walker who runs this event every year. Hi, Ms. Walker, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. That's great. When did you start doing the event? About five years ago, we brought this um, event to our school here at Ford and it has now become a semi-annual event. So every other year we will honor our veterans um, in a full celebration of parade and music and the choir and the band and speeches and breakfast. It's a great event for the entire school and our veterans of course. That's wonderful. What inspired you to do so? I wanted to do something to give back to our veterans. They've given so much of themselves and their families and this is a way that we can honor our everyday heroes. What's the best part about having this event? Having them here and seeing their faces and having their family members here and making them feel truly appreciated is, is so important to me. Do you have any family members that are veterans? I do. I have my grandfather and he always spent many hours telling us his stories about the war and his service to our country and it was always inspiring to me. So when we run the Interact Club we are always trying to find ways that we can help the community and, and make it our school even better by getting involved with our local community. And this is one way that we saw um, an opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. And why is Veterans Day important to you? I think it's important for all of us just to give back to our everyday heroes, as I said. Um, our students and our staff, I know, have learned so much just by watching and having our veterans in our presence and seeing them line the halls. There was tons of teary eyes in the past when we walked through the halls and not only from our veterans but from our staff and our students as they realize the sacrifice and the commitment that these men and women have given to our country for our everyday freedoms that we are so lucky to experience. Thank you, Mrs. Walker. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Veterans Day is a day where we honor and pay respect to those who have served our country. So it is very important that we commemorate for the veterans everywhere. I'm Bailey Oliver reporting. Thanksgiving is a time for family and friends, but it can also be a time for stress and tears and the fear that Aunt Jenna's gonna bring her deadbeat boyfriend that smells like disappointment. Anyway, here are a few ways to distress this holiday season. First, plan ahead. Don't leave everything off to the last minute. It doesn't help anyone in the situation. Second, you wanna stretch regularly, get into some yoga, and deep breathe in those stressful situations. Third, go get some time to yourself. There's nothing wrong with taking some time away from everything for a little while. Fourth, you want to get plenty of sleep and drink lots of water. If you feel good on the inside, you'll feel better on the outside. Don't take everything so serious. Try to make everything fun and prepare for the rough times ahead. Now, if you follow some of these ideas for de-stressing, it may make your Thanksgiving more bearable and definitely more endurable. I'm Macy, reporting.
And that's all for today, Falcons. I'm Chance Kirkwood. And I'm Griffin Nicholas. And as always, go, go Falcons. Falcons.